uh, constitutions are ordinarily reviewed um, uh, circumstantially mm -hmm. uh, and also uh, in response to pre-existing situations. Um, the most predominant one is when the society is destabilized mm -hmm. and that the society's subtle edifice is disturbed. But eventually, um, there are many things that inform uh, constitutional um, reforms and changes. Mm -hmm. uh, the historical aspect to customize that discussion to what we have here is the change from you know, multi -party, uh, single party rule to multi partism, mm -hmm. fast forward to uh, the agitation towards an overhaul of um, an entire constitution to a new one that we are using now. Mm -hmm. What informed that change was obviously because of instability of society and the disturbance that we had as, at that time. Mm -hmm. We therefore had a dominant constitutional moment at that time, and we had a good reason uh, of the constitutional moment as formed at that time. Do we have the same dominant situation now? We don't. Okay. But there are reforms to the constitution as will be an overhaul, and that those that come uh, to address certain uh, issues. Mm -hmm. I think the attempt to have the same constitutional moment that we will call is now, but not as dominant as it was when we were, uh, we had the referendum towards a new constitution, mm -hmm. is probably the shortest history proceeding today on account of the BBI attempt. Yes. The BBI attempt was a reformist approach to address one of the key issues probably we missed out when we were discussing and reforming or putting in place a new constitution. Mm -hmm. Is the uh, probably, uh, I'll put it the reforms on the executive. Mm -hmm. Whether the executive as is profiled, as we use it today, addresses the scope of issues that we want. Yeah. For instance, we have associated presidency with resource allocation, mobilization, and distribution in the country. Mm -hmm. That pattern is associated with the crown. We today have probably a discussion on employment predominantly on certain uh, ethnic groups. Mm -hmm. We probably have a pattern of certain uh, appointments in government on certain ethnic groups because of association of the presidents and deputy presidents. It's a debate we have, whether that's right or wrong. Okay. It's a different issue. Mm -hmm. But why we have in that debate is because of the dominance, notwithstanding the, the reforms that we make, of the crown. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, fast forward is, that's a complaint, a concern by, with, uh, that Kenyans have. Mm -hmm. Do we need to address it now, and is it the moment that we need to address it, or we really have to depend on discretion and good faith of the person in office. Mm -hmm. Remember there will always be a person in office or presidency mm -hmm. belonging to a certain ethnic group, which is probably the dominant fissure or division that we have in this country, associating a certain personality with a tribe, with an office. That won't end. Mm -hmm. So we can't completely clear it, but it's there. The second issue would be why then are we having this discussion is because preceding this, we've had a pattern of instability, probably not very pronounced, but we have had demonstrations mm -hmm. and the disturbance of the stability of the economy and so on and so forth. So that needs to calm down. Okay. Why are we having, why are we calling a constitutional moment? It's because there's a proposal probably in place to make certain reforms mm -hmm. or to make certain adjustments to in the leadership. For instance, on the table, there could be a discussion of the office okay. of the leader of opposition mm -hmm. and constituents' offices around the same. Yes. Now, why are we having that discussion? It's because probably we have not addressed or we failed to address that issue intrinsically in the constitution uh, mm -hmm. itself. Mm -hmm. uh, probably even this addresses the issue as at, at hand now, but fast forward to the next election, okay. we probably need to reconsider the BBI element um, and issues that we raised. Remember, mm -hmm. the BBI was dominantly or predominantly wanted to address the issue of the executive. It's just that like the political uh, class at that time okay. brought in other issues that then adulterated an entire uh, the focus on reforming the executive. Mm -hmm. I think the executive needs to be reformed okay. because the law has to serve us. Mm -hmm. Why it needs to be reformed is because we've seen um, the threat or existential threat of the ethnic, uh, ethnic composition as will form government and opposition. Okay. That friction can be addressed by addressing a reformist approach towards the stability of belonging mm -hmm. to um, the entirety of the administration as opposed to winner-take-it-all okay, okay. and the others 
probably feeling um, excluded from the chain um, and the edifies and the thread of uh, leadership. Okay. Uh, uh, and therefore, the friction of complaint. Because what the opposition has done this time is to complain, okay. uh, at times violently, mm -hmm. yet it is something that we had an opportunity to address. So I think it needs to be addressed because we have to serve society okay. and law has to serve us. Okay. Is this a constitutional moment? I doubt it will be predominantly comparable to what we have had previously, but in its own um, tin pot and its in, in own uh, probably delineation, we will say yes. Okay. Uh, there are constitutional points that need to be looked at mm -hmm. to address the issues now, and probably we may need to continue thinking whether we, we can be served better by, by, the, by the regime, the constitutional regime that we have. Okay, well.